Now we're going to look at the tools toolbar. This right here is the select tool. It's just kind of like in Word or some other kind of word processing software. You can click somewhere or you can highlight something and it selects that so you can do things. So if you want to apply effect, you will select the section you want to apply the effect. You'll go under the effects and you'll apply it to it. If you want to delete something, you can select that area there, hit the delete button, and it will delete it. So this selects sections. You can also select from one track up on this track, and I will select down to a different track. So you can select multiple tracks. So if I want to select just this bottom track there, but if I want to select above, I'll select above. Now if you, if I go here, and if my software is working right, you'll see a finger if I go to the edge. I can take it and push it and pull it back, or if I go to this edge right here, if, if, if you can see the finger, then you can push it and pull it back. That's the select tool. Now we're going to go to the next tool, which is the envelope tool. If you click here, you can control the volume. If I click in one spot and move up and down, it changes the whole volume of the whole section. But if I want to just change the volume of a small section, you put another one here, and let's say we want to go to here, to here, and now I can grab this little dot, pull it down, and it pulls down the volume. This is kind of good if you want to maybe have a music effect, say that we have this right here, I'm going to actually slide this over, say that this is talking, and we want the music, and say this is music, and we want the music to come down when I'm speaking, you can take it and you can pull it down low, I can pull this over, so that's where the talking is. And so we're going to pull the volume down of the music. Let's say this is music below here. And then the volume of this will go down. This next tool is the draw tool. This is kind of an advanced tool to use. So if we're going to go in here and we're going to zoom in. You have to keep on zooming in until you actually see the dots. Now we're starting to see the dots. And now when you see these dots here, I can take it and I can draw and make a waveform how I want to make it. So I'm going to grab this dot here and I'm going to pull him up. I really don't ever do this so I'm not very good at it. And now when I zoom out, you can see, I'm going to go to my select tool, click here, you can see that I made a clip sound. This might be helpful if you have a clip and you don't want to delete it. You can take it and pull that clip down so it doesn't have that click sound as you go by. Here's the magnifying tool. If you click on here and it gives you the plus, you can click and you will zoom in. If you hold the shift button while you click, you will zoom back out. There's many ways to zoom in and out as I did it here, or I can use the select tool. This right here is called the time shift tool. If you go here, you can grab something and you can move it around. If I actually take this, you can move it over here. And if there's space, you can actually take it and pull it down and move it over. I can't overlap it. So if I want it to overlap, I have to pull it up and move it and overlap it that way. This is the multi-tool. I never really use this. It kind of wants to guess what you want to do. So here it's in the select mode. Here it's in the envelope mode. And so I really don't use that. But let me show you the shortcuts with this. Up here, I like using shortcut keys. So this is to go to the select tool, you use F1. Now you'll see if, when I press F2, this envelope tool comes. F3, well, this tool. When you want to go to the zoom tool, F4. Go to the time shift, you go to F5, F6. So I actually do not use this. I just use basically the F1 and the F5 to switch between these two tools right here. These are the two main tools I use. So this is the tool toolbar.